This is the Beige Fox True Spell Stories. It contains all 40 sounds of USA English. That quick beige fox jumped into the air over each thin dog. Look out, I shout, for he's foiled you again, creating chaos. Now written in True Spell. That, notice, these are the phonemes, the spelling of the phonemes. Uh, the letter A for A sound is the majority form, vast majority form in English. Quick, you can recognize this word, it's written this way several times in English uh, commercially, and the single letter I for the I sound. Beige. ZH is recognized in phonetics as spelling the Z sound, the rarest sound of English. Uh, A, the A sound in beige is represented in true spell by moving the silent E over to the letter it makes long. So that's how you spell the A sound. Fox. Fox is uh, quite a... Um, the, letter, the sound ah is, uh, is spelled double A and instead of O because O is quite a problem in English. For instance, the words to, go, of, off, on, they're all spelled with the letter O. If you see the letter O, you hardly know what sound it represents. So we use the double A for ah. Jumped, we've got the uh sound represented by the letter U, it's very common. The D here is used instead of T because when you transitioned into the next word, uh, the, it would be a D sound, jumped into, rather than jumped into. Uh, two, in, that's the long U sound, that the uh, letter E is moved up to the U, for the U, to spell the U sound. Uh, D, it would be D because the law, the, it would be a long E sound. That's the letter, uh, silent letter E moves up to E to make the E sound. Air, and that is, air is a, uh, a, a English word, but that's how you spell the air sound. The letter R, uh, affects the A, and that's how we phonetically spell air. Over, here you have the letter E, uh, move next to O for the long O sound. Er, that's another R affected vowel, like air, and that's how you spell the er, er, er sound. Each, that's self evident. Thin, here's a problem. We have two THs, the voiced and unvoiced. Thin is unvoiced. And that is voiced, so I put an extra H in to represent the unvoiced. By far the most popular is the voiced TH for that, the, especially the. And so that, that spelling just remains the same. Dog, A-U, is common to represent the aw sound. Look, the double O is the U uh sound, and uh, that is the most common spelling uh, versus double O being used for the uh, the um, food, the U sound, balloon. Uh, that would have to be spelled with U, and that would be right there. Out, far, by far, O-U is spells the O uh, sound. I, here you have silent E moved next to letter I to make the long I. Shout for here, the O and the R are matched, and that is the only time the O is by itself, and it's affected by R, so it's or. He's foiled, uh, those are common. U, again, you have uh, the silent letter E moved over to the U to make the U sound. Again, here you have a double G, and in true spell, a double consonant <coughs> indicates the movement of stress from the default first syllable to the second syllable, or, or wherever the double G is. 
So again, the again is stressed. Creating. Here is an interesting situation. We have two vowels together. And in true spell, two vowels together are separated by an apostrophe. In this case, a double apostrophe or a quote mark because this uh, syllable is stressed. So we use a quote mark. Creating. Ting uh, is ing is actually a uh, long e rather than a short i as represented in dictionaries. Chaos, and here you have the two vowels separated by an apostrophe. So if you want to see more about True Spell, we can go to truespell.com. There are four books at authorhouse.coms. Two of them are dictionaries. Uh, and one of them is the Voice of America Dictionary, using their definitions and uh, putting in a pronunciation guide in TrueSpell where no, no pronunciation guide is there. So finally, the Voice of America has a pronunciation guide for their 1,500 simple words. Uh, they try to represent English in 1,500 words, and they do a darn good job of it. That's actually all you need to know about TrueSpell. This is an entire tutorial. You've got it all, but you, there it needs to be practice. I can do, I'll put up a lot of words, and we can practice on nonsense words and trying to fit in the vowel, the spellings of the vowels, especially the vowels because they're trouble, and the consonants. And that this would uh, ends the initial tutorial.